And my own journey started some 16, 17 years ago. I was a newly appointed chief executive of a, of a major global company. I was invited on a Seeing as Believing visit. I didn't know why I was going or what I was there to see, but had my arm twisted by someone I knew. And upon reflection, it was quite a life-changing experience for me. I was asked by a journalist the other day, tell me the three biggest things that have happened to you in your life that have shaped your view of what your role as a leader and as a person are. And uh, there are three things that I reflected on. One was, interestingly, a book I read, which was talking about success and the journey that many people are on um, from what the author called success to significance, that the things that we use as our criteria of success, my salary, my office view, my car, my, my title, often are hollow uh, when you achieve them. And the things that really add value and quality to your life are the things that are significant, that um, fulfillment comes from focusing on what you want to be rather than what you want to get. Uh, the second quite powerful experience I had, and these weren't necessarily sequential, was an opportunity I was given on an airplane trip, flying from New York to Calcutta, India, where I managed to find myself sitting next to Mother Teresa. Now, this is going back a while. And when um, the, quite a bit of fanfare as she arrived on the plane, as you might imagine, um, in what was a completely full plane, every seat was occupied except the one that was next to me. Uh, and she sat down, uh, quite exciting. Um, she introduced herself, I was very impressed. Um, I introduced myself to her, perhaps she was less impressed. Um, and she asked me a question. She asked me, what do you do? And I had recently been appointed to a big new job within the company that I work for, and I was about to launch into my, I'm a captain of industry speech, and she, she tapped me on the knee and she said, no, no, Stephen, that's not what it matters. What do you do that matters? She said, so ooh, that's a tough question. I trained as a lawyer, so I'm usually pretty good on my feet. But I had this little voice whispering in my ear telling me, you can't lie to Mother Teresa. <laughs> and we had an amazing conversation um, for the length of that flight on the role that each of us has to play in society. She never asked me to give her money to stop the work I was doing. She asked me how I was going to use the platform that I was given to make a difference in the world. Quite a powerful challenge to me. The third experience that I had in this sort of triumvirate was being invited on a Seeing as Believing visit, out with other business leaders, many of us new to the senior roles that we had, living in and working in the city of London, uh, and taken to a homeless shelter. The, the street sleepers were then, as now, a relatively common sight in London, and we were exposed to the problem. I didn't know who was sleeping rough and why, um, but spending time with these people and reflecting a little bit on the journeys that they've been on and the opportunity that we may have as a business to play a role in that started me on a journey that has literally changed my life. Um, that group of people that I was on the visit with, most of whom are still close friends of mine all these years later, we, we got together after that visit and reflected, what can we do? How might we help? And we had a number of ideas that we tried. Many of them didn't work. We thought, we'll give them food from our canteens. Well, that wasn't really solving the problem. In fact, it might even have been perpetuating the unhealthy lifestyles. We'll give them clothes. We'll do other things. And on reflection, and it took us some time to get to this place, we decided what we could do that was going to be most impactful for these people was to help them get back into the world of work, help them rejoin society, build their confidence, develop their skills, uh, and get back into doing something productive and meaningful with their lives. And out of that visit grew what we now call our Business Action on Homelessness campaign, where thousands of people have come through this program and come back to work. And all of us that were on that visit remember where we went, who we were with, um, and the small parts that we might have played in developing this idea that has literally changed people's lives. And Thinking back on, on that amazing experience I had with Mother Teresa, one of the great lines that she had when she was challenged by a Western journalist about what is it you're trying to do? And she said, I'm going to, I'm going to feed and clothe the hungry. And, and the journalist said, well, there's a billion people in this country alone who need your help. How are you going to do that? And she said, one person at a time. And that was the power of that visit that we had. These were 
human beings living in our community, um, we couldn't fix all of their problems, but we could help with some. And we couldn't solve everybody's issue, but we could help with some. And that got us started and got us a taste for it. And it was, on reflection, a tool that I could use within this organization that I was then leading as, to, as an illustration of what we stood for as a company and what I wanted us to stand for as a leadership team out there. That message resonated through. So quite a powerful personal experience for me.